friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so that means it is meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. We have one fall inspired recipe, a really good chicken burger, and an amazing, amazing dessert. So if you are excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a new meal prep every Monday in five videos per week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I highly, highly Highly recommend this. This is the only way for you to know exactly what you should be eating every day to lose weight. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things, my recipe website where you'll find all of my recipes, including the three I'm sharing with you today. And last but not least, come and join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So we have lots of amazing recipes to do, so let's jump in. this week I am making pumpkin pie overnight oats. I told you I am all about fall. I am ready. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you're going to need some low fat milk. I always, always use Fairlife because it has so much protein in it. You could use almond milk, but I just recommend using something with protein. It's really going to help you reach your protein goals and get enough in. And this is a great way to start off your day with lots of protein. You're going to need some rolled oats, sugar substitute of your choice. I am using Lakanto monk fruit. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off. I'm also using the Lakanto sugar-free syrup. This one is my favorite. It has the best ingredients when it comes to sugar-free syrup. And for me, it tastes the most like regular syrup. So both of these will be linked down below with 15% off. You'll need some chopped pecans. Now these are optional. I'm adding them. I like the healthy fat and that little bit of crunch. Pumpkin pie spice, vanilla extract, and then pumpkin puree. This is the leftover from my Ninja Creamy video yesterday. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below for you. So let's make pumpkin pie overnight oats. So to get started on our overnight oats, I'm going to add half of a cup of Fairlife milk to a mason jar. I'm not sure the ounces of these mason jars. I'll see if I can find them on Amazon and link them down below for you. I'm pretty sure that's where I got them. Half of a cup of rolled oats, one tablespoon of chopped pecans, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, one tablespoon of Lakanto sugar-free maple syrup, one tablespoon of Lakanto granulated, some vanilla extract, and some pumpkin pie spice. Here's what our pumpkin overnights look like, overnight oats look like. These look incredible, I cannot wait. So I'm going to pop the lid on. I like to give it a good shake just to make sure everything gets mixed really well. And then you can just pop these in the refrigerator and eat them the next day. You can eat them cold or warm. I prefer to eat my overnight oats cold. So let me make up two more jars. I'm making three total for the week. So here are the overnight oats. These look so good. I'm telling you it's giving me all the fall feels. So here's what they look like before you shake them up, just so you kind of have a reference point. And then once you shake them up, they look kind of like pumpkin pie filling. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros, everything here on the screen for you. I'm going to pair these most likely with another protein source like some eggs and maybe some fruit, but I am excited to feel fall all week. lunches this week, I am making buffalo chicken burgers. I have been craving buffalo something and I love chicken burgers. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need a pound of lean, extra lean ground chicken, light sliced cheese of your choice. I'm using Jarlsberg Swiss. I love Swiss with anything buffalo or spicy. You'll need a zucchini, buffalo sauce of your choice. Of course, as you know, I'm going with mild. Seasoning wise, you'll need 
garlic powder and cumin, minced onion or a fresh onion diced, really, really, really small, and then some salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. We love them. So let's get started on our chicken burgers. We're going to start by grating some zucchini. I have a plate down with a paper towel because we want to make sure we get all the moisture out of the zucchini once it's grated. And we want about a half of a cup total. And then with your paper towel, go ahead and soak up all of the moisture out of your zucchini. Now we're ready to assemble the burgers. I added my pound of ground chicken. I'm going to add my grated zucchini, two tablespoons of buffalo sauce. Now you can add more if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the two just because you know I don't like things super spicy. And we, you can also add additional buffalo sauce to the burger when you go to eat it. Minced onion, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons. If you're using fresh onion, do a quarter of a cup. Garlic powder and cumin. And salt and pepper. Spray a skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. You can also grill these out on a barbecue or an indoor grill. Then we're going in with our hands and we're going to mix everything together and form four chicken burgers. So good, I'm going to give them a quick flip. Once they are cooked through, we'll add on a slice of cheese as well, so we have a cheesy buffalo chicken burger. So here are the buffalo chicken burgers with a slice of the Jarlsberg light Swiss cheese. The cheese is only one point per slice and it is so incredibly delicious. I am going to go ahead and package these up in a storage container. I'll be back to share points, calories, macros, and I'll also share a couple of ways that you can put together your buffalo chicken burgers. So here are the buffalo chicken burgers. These are going to be such a great way to get in a ton of protein for lunch. Now, of course, you can add these to a bun with some lettuce and some red onion. You also can add a little bit more of your buffalo sauce as your condiment or your sauce on your burger, whether you eat it on a bun or in a lettuce wrap. And lastly, another really good thing would be a little bit of avocado. So my my plan is actually some avocado sliced up on top of my burger. I am not going to have a bun, but I probably will add a little bit more buffalo sauce as well just to add some extra flavor and then chop up some avocado. So that is going to be my lunch this week. I'll probably have it with some type of crunchy snack and maybe some fruit. For a sweet treat this week, we are baked we are making no bake chocolate peanut butter protein bars. These are those peanut butter bars with chocolate on top. You know the ones from the bakery? I'm super excited about these and they are packed with protein. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some ground flaxseed meal, powdered sugar alternative of your choice. I'm using Lakanto powdered. You guys know Lakanto is my favorite. And as always, it will be linked in the description box with 15% off. You're also going to need some light butter and then some vanilla protein powder of your choice. Again, my recommendation anytime you're baking, cooking, or making sweet treats is to use Devotion Angel Food Cake. That's the best protein powder for baking, but I'm going to use what I have on hand, which is my integrated nutrition. Don't worry, I'll be buying some devotion as soon as this is gone, but you just want some type of vanilla or even unflavored protein powder. I will link devotion down in the description box for you with a discount. Salt, your dark, dark chocolate bar. This is a 70% organic dark chocolate. And then you're going to need some peanut butter. I'm going to use American Dream Nut Butter because you guys know it's my favorite. It's what I have on hand. And this one right here, the brand blend cookie batter, that's actually a peanut butter, 15 grams of protein in two tablespoons. So for American Dream Nut Butter, this one has the most protein and it is incredible. It's a peanut butter with cookie mix-ins. Absolutely amazing. So I'm going to use this 
for the peanut butter bars. I will also link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off. I get asked all the time what my favorites are, literally every single one of them. Every one I've tried is incredible and I have about 10 jars in my pantry as we speak. And then lastly, some vanilla extract. So let's make our chocolate peanut butter protein bars. So I've added my three quarters a cup of my American Dream Nut Butter. I did just weigh that out on my food scale. For me, that's the most accurate way to measure it. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of light melted butter, and one quarter cup of Lakanto powdered sugar. And then we want to mix this together until it is thoroughly mixed. And we're adding in one third cup of ground flax seed and one serving of protein powder. So if you're using Devotion, it's one scoop. This integrated nutrition is two scoops, two scoops per serving. So I'll put in two and then again, give it another mix. So your batter should be really similar to cookie dough. So we could easily form this and roll this into a ball, but what we're going to do is actually add it to an eight by eight or an eight by nine or even an eight by four baking dish and press it into place, basically making a crust. For the chocolate layer, we're going to melt two and a half ounces of the dark chocolate, either on the stove top in a saucepan, or in my case, I am simply going to just melt it in the microwave. Just make sure that you're watching it and stirring it throughout the melting process so that it doesn't seize. We're going to pour the dark chocolate right on top and then spread it out nice and even. These look incredible. They're going into the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. We just want that chocolate to harden on top and then we'll go ahead and slice it into bars and then I'll share points, calories, and macros. I just pulled the chocolate peanut butter protein bars out of the refrigerator. I did try to cut them. They cut really, really easily. Don't forget that it is lined with parchment paper so you could pop all the bars out, cut them into servings. It makes 10 bars total. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. This is going to be the perfect sweet treat this week. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget they are on my website, which is linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my Facebook group, Instagram, everything you need to know is down in that description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not, I'd love to have you here. Thank you for watching friends and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.